Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron N5010 in model here. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how to open it up, how to repaint your computer if it's overheating and if it's shutting down suddenly then you might want to do a repaint, clean up the motherboard, the fan and the whole everything inside. So let's try to keep this video as short as possible and let's go and do the service. Also, if you guys like my videos and helping you guys out, you can click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, it makes a great support and uh, motivation for me to make more videos, answer your questions, take requests from you guys. All right, the tools that you're going to be needing. Let's go over the tools. You need a screwdriver set. I recommend you grab the iFixit screwdriver set. If you can get the pro version, get the pro version. They include an opening tools and tweezers and many other stuff. From this screwdriver set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. You can find the link for this ones in my video description. And if you don't want to get the pro set, grab the guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers, metals, anything like that. You need a curved and uh, straight tweezer. You will need a thermal paste. I will recommend you guys grab the Arctic MX4 thermal paste. These are one of the best ones. You need a workshop towel. Grab one or two sheets of the workshop towel. You will need an alcohol, isopropolic alcohol or isopropolic alcohol, 95% plus. And we're going to get started with all this set. Now, what we're going to do first, also you need a toothbrush, an old or new used toothbrush. First, we're going to remove the battery, power off the laptop completely. We're going to remove the service cover for the RAM right here. It has a C lock on it, just loosen it up and lift it up. Just rotate and it comes up and then pull it out. Remove the screw right here. This is for a DVD drive, optical drive. Once you remove this one, you can slide out the optical drive from here towards the left side and pull out the optical drive. After this, we're gonna remove the covers for the rubber covers, two at the back, one in here, one right on the other side. And there are four in the front end. Alright, once you remove the rubbers in here, now we're going to remove the screw right underneath first before you forget it. All the screws are the same size and height except these four screws right in here. These four screws hold the hard drive, the shorter ones, so remove these ones first and put them in a one pile so you don't mismatch them with the others. So remove these ones, keep them in one pile, and now go ahead and remove all the screws that you see on the bottom cover, and keep them in another pile. Alright, once we remove all the screws in here, now what we need to do is to open it up the laptop in normal position, double check, make sure you didn't miss any screws. We're going to remove the keyboard. To remove the keyboard, keyboard has a little tiny locks in here, right after F12, unhook them. Just push them back and one right between the escape keys and lift up the keyboard, slide it towards the LCD to unhook the bottom here. Now you want to unhook the flex cable by lifting up this cover. Put your finger at the back and lift it up 90 degrees and slide out the flex cable. That's your keyboard. You can go ahead and clean it up if you need. All right, down here, we're going to remove another whole bunch of screws. One, two, three, four, five screws. Go ahead and remove these five screws. These screws are the same size as the bottom cover. So once you remove those, go ahead and remove the trackpad, lift up the lock, and slide out the flex cable. On off switch, slide out the cable. The power on LED LEDs. Once you remove all those, now what you want to do, you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover right there. And now you want to just twist it. And you might hear some clicks, that's fine. That's what you want to hear. Go on the sides, all the way back corner. Do the left and right side. Okay, now we're going to open up the screen and lift up the cover. Bring it up, wiggle around a little bit. It's going to snap the hooks on the back. And there's your palm rest. 
Once you remove the palm rest, now everything is down here. First, go ahead and remove the hard drive. Lift up a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, and slide it out. Now, unhook the speaker cable right here. Pull the cable gently. If it doesn't come out, then pull the jack just along on the side. I don't have a fingernail, so I'm going to grab another tweezer, a little bit tougher tweezer. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it right in there. And it's like the jack backward. Just like that. And remove the other expansion for SD card reader. Okay. Now, uh, let's go ahead and remove the flex cable for the LCD. Just lift up and pull up this cover, this plastic here. And remove this other one. This is for an... VGA cable back on the expansion right there evenly push them back as another adhesive just peel it up we're not going to remove this board right here we're just going to remove two screws here these screws hold the board attaches the board together so these are tiny short ones now let's go ahead and remove the screws on the motherboard I don't see any screws so there should be no screw there's a tiny hook here only so first I'm going to separate these two by putting my finger here. I'm pushing this one down, pull this one up a little bit, so I unhooked it. Now we're going to push this hook right here in the middle towards the left so we can unhook it. Lift up the motherboard and bring it out. So there's your motherboard and there's a CMOS battery if you want to replace the CPU and the GPU right away there. So let's go ahead and clean up this one. So we're going to, you can take it outside and clean up it and uh, dry air uh, compressor clean up the whole thing and for now let's close that down put a workshop towel right here put this one on top we're going to unhook the fan we're going to remove the screws for the GPU there's the one single screw has a C-lock on them remove the three screws for the CPU Okay, now we're going to lift it up, bring it up evenly, and there we have it. Really, really old thermal paste. It's like a concrete almost. I can't even peel it up. And the thermal pad in here is already worn out. We do not need to remove the thermal pads for the VRAM chips here. And they only had for two VRAM chips. They didn't even have a for this one. So we're going to just remove this old thermal paste. And now to blend this one in, I'm going to put one spray of the alcohol on there and one little bit in there to soak it in. We're going to grab a plastic guitar pick, a top one or anything like that. And we're going to start rubbing up on the side. Be careful with the capacitors. On the crystal die, clean it up nicely. And just break that concrete, the whole thermal paste all around it. You do not need to clean up the PCB around the chip, but I'm doing it because I don't like to see it in there. Just rub it in there. As long as you clean the die, you're more than fine. Now we're going to grab another sheet workshop towel. You can use a toothbrush to get in between those things. Once you clean it up, do a second pass with a clean side. Make sure it looks very nice and clean, just like that. Clean up the GPU. Now we're going to put this to one side. We're going to grab the heat sink. And now first, we, let's go ahead and soak it up again a little bit. And we're going to work in here. It is really tough. This is why you should do your own repaste often. You don't want to get to this grade that it becomes really rock solid. This is bad. Now we're going to get to this one. There's an oxidization in here. We're going to clean that out. This one right here, decoloration. We're going to clean those up. But first, let's service up the fan. To remove the four tiny screws in here, these are a Phillips number double zero. 
Well, actually, I think the Phillips one was okay with this one. Yeah, Phillips one is still good for this. Okay, once you remove those, just pick up the fan and bring it up. Look at that. And you wonder why it overheats and just over throttles. This is the problem. So what you want to do, you want to take it outside and clean it up nicely. Remove it, blow some air through here. And remove the screws. And we're going to use the toothbrush to clean it up. For the fan, we're going to lift up the fan evenly. Just bring it up. And there we have the motor for the fan. And we are going to service up the fan right now. First, go ahead and clean it up with a toothbrush. Right now, I'm going to, once we clean up the dust, everything on top, we're going to clean inside it by grabbing a little bit of the corner side of the towel. So you're going to soak it in nicely. And we are going to put this one right in there gently. And we're just going to rotate. And make sure you rub it right in there. And there's an extra dust and dirt right in there. Go ahead and clean up this. Now we need to put some lubricant oil in there. This is like a three-on-one oil. So you want to inject one or two drops right in there. Just one or two drops. You don't want to exaggerate. And put the fan right on top. Now it's much quieter. Now we're going to clean up this part here. You're going to use any copper or silver so cleaning solution. Just grab any of them. It can be a paste or liquid. Just find it in your jewelry store. It's places like that. You're going to grab that one and look at the magic with this one. It just cleans it up right away. It takes all those oxidization away. So you're exposed with a true copper right there. Uh, you want to do the same thing on the CPU side. That way you have the best heat transfer right there. This is what you want to get all those dirt, everything out of there. So now let's put the fan back on. Put it in this position, flip it over. Put the four screws on the fan. All right, once we're done here, we are almost set to go. We're going to grab the motherboard. We're going to bring it in this position. We are going to grab our thermal paste, apply that one drop on the big die, one drop on the secondary die, and now we need a thermal pad. For the thermal pad, we're going to use a thermal grizzly pads here. These are 0.5 millimeters. So I'll grab these ones. And one piece already cut out from here. These are really good thermal, pay, thermal pads. And we're going to place one pad right on the GPU. Make sure you always remove the plastics on both sides. Alright, we're just going to grab the heat sink. Bring it on evenly. Just as, align it. And hold it down and tighten up the screws. There's a numbers right on the screws one, two, three, four. So follow the numbers. Don't forget the heat sink for the GPU. You do not need to remove the pads for the VRAMs. Make sure you connect your fan cable. This is very important. And now we're going to work backward and put the motherboard in. So grab the fan right there, make sure all the cables are not under the motherboard. Put down the fan side down, bring it down, grab this cable out of here, and move it up. Make sure this part has to go straight down to the con contact right there. Grab the flex cable for the LCD, just drop it on and push it down. And this one over here. Just even, has to go evenly in, don't put sideways, put it even, um, pinch it evenly in there, plug in the speaker cables, 
the other table right here for the SD card reader. Put the two tiny screws for the motherboard to hold this expansion board right on the bottom, which is the power cable too. Double check underneath, make sure the contact is perfect. Grab the hard drive, bring it over, slide it in. I made a video how to upgrade the hard drive in case you need to, the RAM. Grab the palm rest, bring it over, put down the palm rest side down at the back by the LCD. Push it down, squeeze the top and the bottom cover. Make sure you do tiny clicks. Now we're gonna put the on-off switch, open up the lock. Slide it right underneath and close it down. Open it up and bring it and slide it right underneath. Same thing here. Just slide it right under and lock it down. Alright, once we connected all the cables and we're gonna put the five -y screws right on the top or the four -y screws or the five -y screws right on the top here under the keyboard. So place these five -y screws. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the once you are finished putting up the screws, we're gonna put the keyboard, bring it down face down, grab the flex cable, bring it in. Slide it down in 45 degree all the way in and lock it down. Put the bottom side of the keyboard down and push it down. We're gonna close up the lid. We're gonna flip it upside down. Down here first, you wanna put the DVD drive right in there quickly. Slide it right in there before you forget it. Now, first, we're gonna put the screw for the DVD drive to hold it in place. And the screw right beside the RAM to hold the keyboard in place. Put the service cover right on top, bring it down, and screw it down there. Put the four screws for the hard drive to keep the hard drive in place. And the rest, it should be really easy. Just grab all the screws on the bottom and the screws for the bottom cover. Just slam it all over the place and don't forget to put the rubber covers right at the corner backs and in the front row. And that will be all for your servicing for your laptop Lenovo Dell Inspiron N5010. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you like this video, click that like and think about subscribing to support the channel. I'll really appreciate it. Just gonna finish up putting up the screws.